Hi, this is Mike at 401 Games in the heart of Toronto. Uh, I'm here with Jay. Uh, we're both members of the uh, Married with Clicks Meta Lab cast. And we're going to be doing a Superior Foes of Spider Man unboxing today. Say hi, Jay. Hello. <laughs> to start with, though, before we touch the actual product, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the OP kit uh, prize this time around. It's a little bit more unique than we're used to. Uh, it's a special object, and uh, in this particular case, it's something that I've been looking for, forward to for a while, and that is a symbiote. This actually is used uh, to possess individual characters. Let me read the card out for you. It's equipment. So it's an immobile object, meaning you can't TK it, you can't move it. Uh, so it's placed on the map and it cannot be moved, but uh, in order to equip it, you give a friendly character in this square. Uh, or holding this object, a power action to equip it. The holding part doesn't really make sense no. at all. But, you know, it's just the standard equipment. language. Yeah, yeah. standard language. Uh, opposing characters can KO this object only by using it in an object attack to equip, uh, take the object and place it uh, on the standard character's card. This character can use its effects if this character is KO'd or equipped with a second object, KO the first object. So, really, I don't think that the KO while using it in an object attack really applies because you can't really no. use it in an object attack. But it's basically, it's standard language. We've seen this at this point for a while, uh, the new equip rules. Now, the effect of this character is, or this, this particular object is really interesting. Uh, equipped character can use plasticity and shape change. Now, that doesn't sound like much. Except that this object only costs six points. So six points for either ability is pretty fantastic if you ask me. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. The decoy cost six points and it was worth it. Totally worth it. Okay. Uh, they also automatically break away. Uh, give the equipped character a free action and roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled. Now, when you roll a five or a six, you can modify this character's combat values by plus one until your next turn. However, if you roll a one, place this object into an adjacent square. Uh, and the last equipped character can't be equipped by it this game. Again, this game. So, a little bit of a double edged sword there, but you know, you don't roll one all the time, and so I think it's well worth its points. Uh, what do you think there, Jay? I think it's quite good, especially because if you position right, you can just have another character next to them to then pick it up if they drop it, because you choose the square. So, mm -hmm. it's well worth the points, especially in, uh, if the limited format comes back. Mm -hmm. Or just if resources are well, not... We know that the limited format will come back. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about the ROC uh, limited format season. Uh, right now we're in the middle of the uh, 300 modern season. And, uh, you know, half a year is spent there and then the other half of the year is spent in modern limited uh, and a variety of other alternative uh, formats as well. Um, that being said, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a little bit of a battle format, which if you've watched any of my other unboxing videos, you know very well. Uh, we each take a booster, rip them open, pull out the pieces, compare them, take our favorite out of it, uh, talk a little bit about it, and then see who wins in that round. And we'll tally up the winners, or the, the rounds, at the end and see who the actual grand winner is. And basically what you get from that is bragging rights. <laughs> But uh, that being said, I guess let's take it away. Let's take open our. So we're gonna stew it in this yeah. direction. And so I'll you mirror see. you. So we're mirroring each other in the snake format for the Serpent Society, as well as so you can see what comes out of which booster if there's some sort of correlation between location and rarity. Absolutely. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. So it looks like we've added some sort of styrofoam. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. I already got protecting a the pieces. Imagine that! They're actually protecting the pieces with the new packaging. I have the... That's a lot of packaging. That's the Black Cat sketch variant. Nice. Which looks very impressive. Well, I may have won this round. I didn't get a sketch variant, but I pulled an Ares. Yeah. Yeah. That's the super rare Ares. We've been waiting for quite a while for uh, a new Ares to be able to use it with the convention exclusive ID card. For ID card call-ins. Other than that, I got uh, Scarlet Spider, uh, Vermin, Thug, and Spider-Man, 001 Spider-Man. Uh, I got the Black Cat, who's a rare, I got the Jackal, Vermin, the Goblin, and the Common Spider-Man. Very nice. I guess we can talk about the new cards at this point, what? because yeah. they're a new thing. Definitely. And they look quite... They're, they, the, the material they made out of now feels a little more firm. Not as bendy. A little touch thicker, maybe? And it looks decent, and it's everything's a little more simplified. And well, the big difference being, and most people know this at this point, 
on the back of the card itself it has the full dial, which we haven't seen before. Now there is an actual rule out there uh, that you are not, that opponents can look at your card, but they may not look at the back of the card, uh, because that gives away too much information. It's strategically uh, important for you uh, to know, but them to not necessarily know. Oh yeah, Ares, God of War. I believe you it is a Bible. I think I did. I think I might have. You know, why don't we talk about uh, Black Cat first, because you um, did get the very first sketch variant. So she has improved movement, uh, goes elevation, and they've stopped giving those flavor tags, or just the elevation for movement. Uh, Marvel Divas, Marvel Knights, Spider-Man being like keywords. Uh, Spider-Man ally team ability for 50, uh, 50 points. Uh, she has a trait, which is when Black Cat hits with a close attack, you may choose that it deals no damage. If you do, you may choose an item equipped to that character that was an object and equipped to Black Cat. So she can steal any sort of equipment, including uh, possessor characters, this object, and all sorts of fun stuff like that as just a close combat attack. Ooh. And she has a damage power on every one of her clicks, which is once per turn when Black Cat makes an attack or is the target of an, of an attack, she may reroll one of the dice of the attack roll. So, some semi prob there to defend herself. Very cool. It's a very nice looking skull. It is. I'm not big on the, uh, the sketch variants myself, but I know for some people it would be really cool because it gives them almost like another rarity level to go after. In which case, some people will have to complete twice. They'll need a sketch variant completion and a regular set completion. I will not be one of those people. I will try my best to get as much of this set as I can. But, not to that uh, extent. She is a rare. Very cool. Nice top dial, too. And your Ares, I believe, is a super rare. Yeah, yeah. Ares is a super rare, as indicated by the uh, gold indicator there. Uh, he can be played at either 200 or 125 points. He does come with a clicks effect, effect space. It's the slash marker. I'll get into that in one second. In fact, he's pretty detailed. The only th problem with this one is the paint on the face is a little bit off. But otherwise, he looks incredible. His weapons look quite good. Yeah, they do look really good. His face is a bit lackluster, but still, his dial is quite something. You can see that there. And the clicks yeah. FX marker he's a, does he's look a beaut. very nice as well. Yeah, they, they do in general. I'm very impressed with those. And I mean, it was something that I think they saw uh, people doing. Otherwise, anyway, making their own three-dimensional three uh, markers. And now they've adopted it on their own and made them better, yeah. in fact. Okay, so Ares himself, uh, Avengers, Dark Avengers, Deity, Soldier, Warrior, real name, Ares. God of War. Ares can't be targeted by outwit or probability control uh, from opposing characters unless the target targeting character has a higher point value or has the Deity keyword. We've seen this before. That's, I, mean, that's I think, identical to the gods from the Greek god Pantheon from Superman and Wonder Woman. Absolutely, yeah, it is identical. It, that's a trait. Second trait here is crippling blows. When an opposing character takes damage from a close attack from Ares, attach the slash marker to that character, removing it from anywhere else. When a character with the slash marker is given an action token, deal it one penetrating damage. When that character heals or clears action tokens, remove the slash marker. Uh, he then also has a, a special damage power, which is not on top click. I'm gonna just... You can just do the card also. Yeah, that's true, actually. Very good point. I'm not used to it. Yeah, that's it. It's too new. Thing. Yeah, we've got... Uh, wow. At his high points, he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine clicks. All of them look good. On his last four clicks, though, he does have that special damage power, which is called Relentless. When Ares KOs an opposing character, remove an action token from him and heal him one click. He's quite brutal in that way. Yeah, pretty awful. You gotta carve through those those clicks and uh, with the values. I mean, he's got a 19 defense to start with. I mean, the rest of the dial is fairly average in terms of its um, defense values. But you do have a quite you have four clicks of impervious. You have uh, two clicks of invincible, and then the last three clicks are only toughness. He's just, he is. It's nice to see a close combat character, but with some backup range, because presumably he will have some sort of arrows or whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, fantastic piece. I won that round. Uh, moving on, let's open up our next box. Booster box. Three, two, one. Go! I got, I think I win this round with my chase. That's probably a win right there, yeah. Which chase did you get? I got the uh, Old Man Spider chase. Oh, that's cool. Which 
Looks very similar to the old Incredible Hulk Spider-Man with the uh, wall behind him. Ooh. The Galactic Guardians one. Nice. What else did you get on in your uh, uh, booster Let's see. Uh, it comes with uh, the web effects, clips, marker, as do all the chases and a bunch of the other ones. Uh, we got my favorite piece from this set, which is the thug. Mm -hmm. We have Spider-Girl, another vermin, uh, Death Adder, and then the chase uh, Old Man Spider, which is a fold-out. And that is Ezekiel Sims, not actually Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. He looks good. The wall thing he's on looks pretty cool. And the web marker, is, of course, is a cool little tie mechanic that we'll get into later. It does look good with them. Yeah, it does. Uh, I'll just go through what I what I pulled here. I did pull the zero zero, uh, or sorry, the zero three one uh, Spider Man, which is, I believe, Miles Morales. Yes. Yeah, that's the Miles Morales uh, Black Spider Man from uh, from the Ultimates universe originally, and now he's in the main universe as we know. I believe he's the Donald Glover uh, inspired Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Uh, very cool. Not the not my choice pick for this particular booster, though. I'm gonna go with Puff Adder on that one, and I'll get into that in a second. The other clicks that I pulled here are Scorpion, Dagger, and Spider Girl. Very cool. I have not pulled a a, uh, a sketch variant yet, but I did get Puff Adder, which is pretty cool. All right. Uh, so the Old Man Spider uh, has the, these two traits that he has are common to all of uh, the Chase Spider Man. Uh, our Spider-Man related nice. characters and whatnot. So we have Colin Hop from the Spider-Verse. Once per turn, for all characters with this trait, when Old Man Spider hits an opposing character, after actions resolve, you may roll d6 that can't be re-rolled on a 3 to 6. Place another friendly character with the Spider-Man family keyword to chase into this character. In addition to that keyword that he has, he has only Mystical, but that is still quite the keyword. Mystical is awesome. Uh, yep, and uh, Spider's Web traits. When Old Man Spider hits, after actions resolve, you may attach his web marker to a hit target, removing it from anywhere else. That character with the web marker can't move without breaking away and can't automatically break away. Mm. Other characters don't have to break away from that character. When that character successfully breaks away, remove the web marker. So they can they have to try and break away from their square even though they might not necessarily be next to an opposing character. And that does work with range. Mm -hmm. Uh, Very nice. And he also has a special moon power, which is Recruiter of the Spider-Verse. Old Man Spider can use Phasing Teleport, Sidestep, Stealth, and the Carry Ability. He can carry it to four friendly characters if all carried characters have the Spider-Man family keyword. <clears throat> so for only 75 well, points, he's a super taxi with, for the Spider-Man family, and he also has very, very decent values himself. Yeah, he's usable. Absolutely. He's very good. Very, very good. Um, and of course, excellent. And the win for this round, for sure. Uh, I pulled uh, Puff Adder here, though. I wanted to, to show everybody uh, this guy in particular because we do have the Serpent Society as a sub theme in this set. Uh, he is a unique, he's the rare, right there. Uh, comes in at two different point values. We've got him at 100 points or 60 points. He does have the Masters of Evil TA, which allows him to uh, for basically a colossal push. <clears throat> Uh, his first, his, well, first of all, we'll go through his, his uh, keywords, which is Master of Evil, Serpent Society, and Brute. Uh, his real name is Gordon Fraley. Not that that's really going to come into play. I don't think we're ever going to get a Puff Adder ID card. No. Uh, we've got his first trait, which is Sneak Attack. Lots of S's in there. Puff Adder can use Phasing Teleport when he does and moves three squares or less. After actions resolve, he may make a close attack. Oh, I believe useful. that's common to all the Serpent Society. Is, is that the common uh, yeah, that, trait? That's yeah, because that, what they're doing now, because they don't seem to be doing ETAs on the cards as much as they used to. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like with the Marauders from X-Men and now the Serpent Society, they're seeming to give characters common traits to unite them as a team. Rather or the than, Mighty Avengers or whatever it was. Yeah, or and then, Uncanny Avengers, that was it. Yeah, the Spider-Verse team yeah. uh, traits. So they're doing common traits instead of... Uh, team abilities. I guess in that way it makes it a little bit more accessible for some players too, because then you have some consistency between them. I even think about uh, different ability or different combat abilities, like um, or not abilities, but the weapons on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, for instance. Yeah. You know, if you had a Psy on a character, they did the same thing with that that uh, special attack as um, any other character with a Psy. Yeah. Or Nunchuck or uh, Katana, etc. Consistency is good. Yeah, it is. It's really good. Okay, second trait is called Intimidating Size. At the beginning of the turn, choose Puff Adder. Choose Puff Adder can use Super Strength and has Giant Size, or Puff Adder has Regular Size. 
uh, normal size, and uh, Puff Owner uh, has the chosen effect until you choose again. So, uh, somewhat useful. I mean, size with the new size rules and everything, I think that that does will come into play fairly well. Uh, you then have his special attack power, which is on his top dial as well. It's on the first four clicks if you did pay 100 points for him, or only two clicks if you paid 60 points for him. Uh, that power itself is give power, a puff out or a power action and deal one penetrating damage to an opposing character within three squares and line of fire. Mm. Well, I really need that one okay. damage to stick. Me. Hmm. I'm having a little bit of Robert De Niro face. Oh, right. Uh, aside from that, he's, he's not he's not bad at all. Um, he's just not tremendous. You know, he's he does have some pretty decent values and abilities. Yeah, yeah. But overall, you definitely won this this round. Let's move on. He dies. Chess piece style. He fall. dies. So it's one and one now. Three. It's getting heated. Two. One. Ooh. Oh, I did get a skip train. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, I got oh, I got something here. That's for sure. I got a non-prime of the prime, which is Sam in here, which is pretty good cool thing with his Clips FX. He is quite the piece. I hope he's your pick based on what you have there. Is that the is that the anti-venom prime or is that venom? That's venom. It is confusing. Well, it is, yeah, because of the, the sketch variant. That's the sketch variant. Pull the sketch variant. Uh, Venom, oh, yeah. he will not be my choice this turn. Uh, also got Kingpin, who does have the uh, Sinister Syndicate team ability. Both of those do. Which, as we know, when they're adjacent, they can replace uh, their own attack value with an adjacent characters. Um, so I also got uh, Mr. Hyde, Uncommon, mm -hmm. Scarlet Spider, which is Ben Riley, and his cute little hoodie. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson, and the common Spider-Man. Ooh, I like that Sandman too. The sculpt on that Sandman's great. And this is a new Clicks FX based style that we haven't seen before. Based on the Iceman one. Right, but new yeah, paint. But it's got a new paint for sure. New, new material. Feels very sturdy and weighty, as it should be. The other two characters I got in mind, mind were Cottonmouth from the Serpent Society, and another Spider-Man. Yay, we have already seen him. There they are. Now, so the Sandman is the non-prime of the uh, Hydra Man. Mm -hmm. uh, keywords are French Four Sinister Syndicate. He has the Sinister Syndicate team ability. Uh, he has one trait, nothing else special on his dial, which is Packed Sandwall trait. You may give Sandman a power action and place the Sandwall marker in mm -hmm. Sandman Square, removing it from anywhere else and aligning it with one edge of the square. The Sandwall is a wall that Sandman can move through and doesn't block his line of fire. Uh, if Sandman is within three squares of the sand wall, you may give Sandman a free action to make a close attack as if he occupied that square. So it's his own permanent barrier, basically, that he ignores from modifier and movement. Kind of yeah. like um, the Quicksilver. Um, sort of. Sort of, kind of. Kind of like the, um, yeah. uh, the Iceman one as well. So he can be Similar free. Ideas. Although it's a power action to make it, he can then make a, uh, take a free action to make a free attack. Mm, and he can move through it, and it is a wall. Yeah. That's pretty good. He's a very solid piece. It's, it, he's interestingly different to the uh, barrier-focused Avengers Assemble piece that we saw of him. I like the fact that you have to align the wall with an edge, too. To Reminds me of the weird where he had his hand. Yeah, a little bit. That's... <laughs> uh, I got Moon Knight. He's phenomenal. Um, first of all, Mar Marvel Knights, Mystical and Soldier. All very usable. Uh, his name is Mark Spector, very usable with the ID card, of course. Uh, his first, or his only trait, is Avatar of Vengeance, collecting for Khonshu. When Moon Knight damages an opposing character, place a tribute token on this card. At the beginning of your turn, give Moon Knight a free action and remove a tribute token uh, to heal him one click. When Moon Knight would be KO'd, you may remove two tribute tokens and instead turn him to click six. It's essentially a stop click. Sort of. Yeah, one of those never die, so I'm never die characters. Yeah. Yeah. He also has improved movement. Uh, ignores elevation. Doesn't ignore hindering for movement, but you know can't have it all. Uh, then he has a special attack power, which is I want to see them coming, or I want them to see me coming. 
Modify Moon Knight's attack value by plus one for each opposing character within his range that can draw a line of fire to him. It's very interesting for the character and appropriate because he has that whole mentality of wearing the white suit so that they will see him and be afraid of him and whatnot, and he wants to draw attention to himself. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't, I don't believe this version has stealth on his own. Unlike, he doesn't, no. Unlike which is own. unusual. Yeah. yeah. Although he does have the um, the AT or the uh, sorry, yeah. team, the Spider-Man team ability, so he has a lot more flexibility in that way than yeah. the wild card. Um, he is six clicks long for ninety points. So it's a little bit shorter than what we've seen in yeah, some cases. Yeah, but his never die last click is spectacular. It's unbelievable. It's not even a line. Yeah, it's, it's not the click itself. It's a, it's a trait. So it's continually happening. Uh, fantastic. Good values, too. Reasonable for the points. Yeah, he has, what, 11 and 4 close combat expert on that last click? Yeah, 11 and 4, uh, 18 defense as well. Yeah. Close combat expert is amazing on that yeah. card. Yeah. Yeah, just keep him there. He's got something you have to deal with. Yeah, the only thing that his only fall down is, I guess, five range. But, you know, you can't have it all. Yeah. He is excellent. Um, I would say he probably wins this round. I don't know. I mean, it is moon. Fine, I'll give it yeah, to him. I know. Wins. I knew you would. All right. So, two, two, or, yeah. One. Two to one. Yeah, okay. Call it. One, two, three, right. I love taking stuff out of boxes. I win this round. Do you? Oh yeah. Likely we will... Well, Jason would think that I won this one. Oh yeah. That's Jason Collins from Metal Lab. Yeah, from Metal Lab. Because I got his favorite Power Man and I first. Well, I got Superior Spider-Man. Which he... is another Chase. Wait, is he? I thought it was a Super Eric. Pretty sure he's a Chase, isn't he? Looks brown to me. Um, Pretty sure he's one of the well, I'll double check. Compare him to, yeah, I think he's a super rare. I think you're right, yeah, he's a super rare. But still, Superior Spider-Man is awesome. One of my favorite characters, and kind of the namesake of this set to a certain extent. Uh, let's see. I imagine he's going to be your pick. Oh, for sure, yeah. I love Dr. Otto Octavius. Uh, his mind inside of Peter Parker's body. So I, I mean, also... I have already seen him clicks, but he is so cool. They had to do it again. I also got the uh, Hobgoblin, which mm -hmm. is Jason McIndale, who has a pretty cool shape change, make him attack themselves mechanic. Um, we have the Shocker, who is a superior foe, which mm -hmm. is also the name of the set. We have the NYPD officer, who is quite a little generic there. And we have the Common Spider-Man again. Very nice. I do love the Nuo. That's what we're calling it. The pseudo. The pseudo duo. It's the pseudo duo. Yeah. Uh, it is actually amazing, and uh, yeah, you're right, Jason is, is absolutely over the moon for this particular piece. And he'd be pretty amazed at uh, pulling jo J. Jonah Jameson in there, because he loves J. Jonah. Just purely from a, a uh, love of the character standpoint. I also got Norman Osborn, uh, Tarantula, and Kingpin once again. But yeah, my pick will be definitely uh, Superior Spider-Man. So, we have Power Man and Iron Fist, who aren't actually a duo, surprisingly, but they have a differently interesting mechanic, mm -hmm. which is a trait called Martial Arts for Street Smarts. At the beginning of your turn, you may turn Power Man and Iron Fist dial to the same click number with another color. When on a red click number, they, may, they can use Combat Reflexes, and on a blue click number, they can use Super Strength. So they have different uh, colors for which one of the two they are, which is Power Man gets Super Strength, Iron Fist is Combat Reflexes. Uh, so you see Iron Fist, who's got more of a martial arts hit hard, uh, hard and hit focus, whereas Luke Cage is more of a brawler with reducers. Mm -hmm. And so it's a more of a tag team thing where it's almost like a Marvel vs. Capcom. Switch them out depending on the situation you want them in. I really like it in casual. I think it's a, a fantastic It's piece. for only 50 points. You, yeah. yeah, it's quite the piece with very good really values. On the other hand, we have the superior Spider-Man here with another Clix Effects web base here. They're so well done. I love them. Um, his sculpt is really good. Uh, paint's a little little off, I'm noticing. It's not fantastic, but it seems to be the case with a lot of the red. I think it was a little bit too runny, the viscosity wasn't quite there. You can see that with the uh, Miles Morales Spider-Man as well. Anyway, that that aside from that, um, he has this is superior Spider-Man, number 60. Uh, comes in uh, with Avengers, Spider-Man Family, Scientist. Of course, Scientist. If you didn't, I'd be mad. Uh, real name Peter Parker, slash Otto Octavius. Not quite sure if that'll work with the ID card. It won't. 
Yeah, no, 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 because it's you, it has to be one or the other, uh, and unless it's in brackets, and because brackets get ignored. Right. Yeah. Uh, superior spider arms is his first trait. Superior Spider Man can use flurry. When he does, he can use probability control, and when he hits, uh, the hit character's defense value is modified by minus one until your next turn. Uh, his second trait is call in help from the Spider Verse, which we've already seen, so I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, and then his third trait is Spider Web, when Superior Spider Man hits, once again, you get the, uh, the webbing on your character. Uh, he comes in with uh, improved movement as well, ignores hindering, and characters, but no elevated, hmm. which is an interesting choice. Uh, he has range of four, uh, no team abilities to be heard of. He's at 125 points. And he has a pretty decent dial. I mean, you've got charge super strength off the top with shape change and super senses. Together. And traded flurry with prompts. Yeah, so. it's really good. He is very good. Uh, at seven clicks long, it's perfect. And towards the end of his dial, he ends up with that uh, special uh, defense power, which is it's my life. I'll fight to keep it. Superior Spider Man can use super senses, toughness, and willpower. Excellent piece, in my humble opinion. I way. unfortunately have to concede this one to But it's close. I love that piece. I really like yeah. that piece a lot, especially at 50 points. You can't really knock a piece like that at all. So I'm, I'm significantly ahead right now, but that will change, I'm sure. These things tend to balance themselves out very well. Let's go for number four. Three, two, one. Sketch variant. Okay. Is that, is that Tom's favorite piece? Well, I got the Spider Gwen sketch variant. Spider Gwen? Oh yeah. my. Sketch variant right there. That's, That's something. Potentially another win. Potentially. Okay. You did get a chase. My sketch variant is not as cool. It is the uh, generic officer. It's not overdrive, but it's cake killer. Oh, is it? Yeah. They look very similar. Yeah, they are similar. I guess my pick for this variant will be the Green Goblin. Uh, yeah. So in addition to the officer and the goblin, I got the uh, Mary Jane, the scorpion, and uh, regular black cats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the piece. I think the regular Gwen, uh, spider web looks better. I do too, but I'm sure this one's more valuable. Or it will be at first. Uh, I don't know, people have had mixed responses we'll to the sketch variants themselves. But I mean, these, this would be more rare, technically, than the regular uh, spider Gwen. Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, actually gonna take that. That's gonna be my choice, but I got Scorpion, Tarantula, Rattler, uh, and Kate Killer. Yeah. I'm gonna cool. just take the Officer out because he uses another sketch variant. Maybe you wanna put them all out. What's that? Maybe you wanna put all the sketch variants out because they are new. Oh, no, no, we don't have to put no. them out, it's fine. Looks it's decent. Yeah, keep them out if you want. Just put them off to the side so we don't count towards our total. Yeah, you can win this round too. I will. Uh, she's really good. We've seen, we saw her previewed a while ago. Uh, Spider Gwen. So there's the sketch variant version of her. Right there. Not a bad sculpt, but I mean, because she doesn't have the paint, it's not as impressive. Because, I mean, she's kneeling on top of some kind of brick null post, really. Huh. Not bad, though. See Spider Gwen? There you go. Involving the staff here. <laughs> uh, her abilities, I'll go through it real quick. Uh, she does get improved movement, ignores elevated and hindering for once in this set. Uh, Spider Man uh, has Spider Man fam family, uh, sorry, Spider Man family and celebrity, and her real name is Gwen Stacy, of course. This is number fifty-two. Uh, she comes in at ninety-five points. She's six clicks long. She does have a special defense power on the last click with probability control. Uh, we shall see what that is momentarily. Uh, her first trait is missed me, missed me, now you gotta kiss these. Uh, spider Man can use super senses and can evade attacks made by characters using precision strike. We've seen that before with Cosmic Daredevil. Very, very similar. Uh, and is, that's, that's pretty potent. Mm -hmm. uh, she also has call in help from the Spider-Verse, which we've already seen, and Spider's Web. The special defense power is dead in every universe but this one. Once per game, at the beginning of your turn, turn spider Gwen's dial to click one. This can't be countered. Hmm. It's not a stop click. No. But if you land on that, you basically end up with 12 clicks. Pretty much. For a 95 point character. She's got charge, super strength, uh, combat reflexes, top dial, 
She's excellent. She really is very, very, very good. Oh, the sketch bring in. Yeah. Barely has a face. I'd rather have the regular one. You can barely see her eyes. She looks more like the question yeah. than anything else. I would rather have the regular one. But you know what? That's pretty cool that you're getting to see these things up close and personal. What'd you get? Uh, the Green Goblin's not that spectacular, unfortunately. He seems to be less of an attacker and more of a strategy piece. Uh, Hammer, Keyword, Sinister Syndicate, and Thunderbolts. Uh, five range, the team ability of Sinister Syndicate, 65 points. Uh, special defense power that he has from the, the whole dial. Uh, everyone's a pawn. Uh, Green Goblin can use Mastermind and Toughness. He can use Mastermind regardless of point value if the friendly character shares a keyword. Mm -hmm. So he can protect himself with a beat stick bodyguard to make sure he doesn't go down. Mm -hmm. uh, and the special damage power, which he has for two clicks, uh, is Green Goblin to use Enhancement and Perplex. So Perplex can work once, and Enhancement can work for all your range attacks. So he can be helping your team out, uh, unfortunately. Can't compare him to Gwen. No, and there's been better Green Goblins, frankly. Yeah, I think the tent yeah. is still my favorite. All right, so I am still ahead. Let's see. You gotta sweep these. You gotta sweep these. So Let's see if I get double dinosaur. Call it out. One, two, three. Ooh, okay. All right. Another sketch variant. Uh, I think I got the first of the best piece in the set, which is Liverpool. Still am. Oh yeah, stilt man, coming, kind of coming with two sets of stilts. Colossal retaliation, stilt man. Although, actually, I don't think he's going to be my choice from this booster because really, I the regular uh, version of Craven. Oh yeah, he's he's really good. In addition to that, uh, I got a tarantula, anaconda, and a G. Joe and Jesus. Well, I got a mangy Mr. Hyde here, but I also got uh, Speed Demon, who's pretty good. The um, the sketch variant that I got in this one is Spider Girl. So the May Parker? Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go with Speed Girl. Might as well. Craven has a lengthy card. Uh, go ahead. Stat and power wise, he's basically a really good close combat piece. Uh, nine, uh, 75 points. He is the 53A, so he is the super rare non prime. He has a Sinister Syndicate key, uh, keyword, and team ability, of course. Uh, and he has two traits and a special power. Uh, trait number one is once per turn, when another friendly character damages an opposing character, choose one. Modify one of Craven's combat values, except damage by plus one until your next turn, or he'll hit Craven one to click. Ooh. So, he is pretty cheap, so you can fit a bunch of characters on a team with him, so he'll either be getting some pretty good stats or just healing and healing, followed by more healing. Uh, second trade, give Craven a power to action, place a hunted token on an opposing character's card, removing it from anywhere else. When the opposing character with the hunted token moves due to be giving it, given an action, after actions resolve, may move Craven up to eight squares, and he must break away if adjacent to an opposing character. If the opposing character has a Spider-Man family keyword, Craven automatically breaks away when doing so. So he basically decides who his prey is, and then he starts to follow them as they move due to their own action. He is the good. Uh, his values are really good. Yeah, he's super rare, 75 points. He's quite cost effective. I uh, believe you'll win this one. He has a special attack power for most of the dial, which is spear and knife. When uh, Craven can use blades, claws, fangs. Craven can either use either Flurry or Giant Reach 3, but only if his target has a Hunted Token. So, charge Flurry with Battle Fury and Blades Ooh. for 75 points. Yeah. Or Giant Reach 3, so that's quite the reach he's got there. The sculpt is pretty good too, with he has his Leopard Print stuff, he's got a spear and a very big spear, big knife. Yeah, the only problem with the spear is all dilapidated because it is made of rubber, and, and that's just, it, it's what happens when you have long, thin things in this set. At least it doesn't snap like the old ones did, because they used to snap all the time. I swear it's great album to me. The paint's pretty good too. I like his, yeah, as you said, the leopard print uh, yeah. man thong. Uh, now, I really like this character. I think that the piece is really good. Um, he's five more points than your character. He's 80 points. This is Speed Demon. So we just lost a Speed Demon in uh, the retirement that just happened about a month ago. And uh, now we have a new one, which is fantastic. The old one was great. Uh, this one is very, very good. Uh, you have Sinister Syndicate, team ability on the back. Uh, 
80 points, as I said before. He starts with 12 movement, 11 attack, 18 defense, uh, and 3 damage. The attack and damage uh, powers are bald, but there's a special defense power. Now, I'm going to get into that in a minute. I'll go through the... Uh, I'll go through everything here. We've got Sinister Syndicate, Thunderbolts, and Speedster uh, with a real name, James Sanders. Superior to the other guys, once per turn for all characters with this trait. If a character uses the Sinister Syndicate team ability to replace their attack value with Speed Demons, that character can use probability during that attack. That's fantastic. Uh, he also has another trait called Speed Shadow when you're moving along through a square, which is this thing here that clicks effect space. Uh, through that square, you may place the Speed Shadow Marker in it, removing it from anywhere else. Uh, when Speed Demon makes a close attack, he treats characters adjacent to the Speed Shadow Marker as adjacent to himself. So identical to Quicksilver. I think slightly different wording, but same idea. Yeah, same kind of concept. Uh, that special de special defense power is, I got super speed, baby! Uh, speed Demon can use combat reflexes if Speed Demon moved through. Move during their last turn, he can use energy shield deflection. Very useful. Uh, he only has a couple powers, actually standard powers, on his dial as well. He only has three. He has um, hypersonic speed, super senses, probability control, none of which are on his top click. He's only five long, but those clicks are pretty packed, I would say. Um, his damage, you know, goes, it's only, th it's three, three, two, two, two. So three clicks of two towards the end. But having a special, um, a special uh, movement power on the last three clicks is very, is very useful as well. It's called Punch You Before You Know It's uh, Speed Demon can use hypersonic speed. When he does, he can use Flurry as a free action instead of making a close attack. So, once again... Very, very similar, similar to Quicksilver. He, he is, uh, except for granting probability control and then having probability control himself yeah. in the last three clicks. It's very good. Uh, I would say he still trips on bush bushes, but... yeah. yeah. Uh, you win. So, he is, should not be standing up, right? No, he should be on no, his face. No, sorry. See you later. But, yeah. Well done, sir. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, Prime. Prime, Prime, Prime. Captain Stacy. Not bad. It's the common Prime. Is that the alternate of the thug? No, no that's so the, the, uh, the cop. Of the cop, yeah, yeah. Oops. Ooh, this is a nice golf cloak, actually. Look at that. The arms are weird. Yeah, they're kind of weird. It looks like they are not attached to his torso, really. They're like forward. But the, the cloak itself is pretty cool. I'm not actually sure who my favorite pick of this pack is going to be. Hmm, cloak, Nightwatch, Rattler, Betty Bryan. Uh, Vulture, Sculpt, uh, Sketch Variant, Jackal, Nightwatch, Vermin, Shark. That's sure. All right, I'll get into the prime here. Captain Stacy, he is the common prime. He's only 30 points. He has the PD team ability. Uh, he has the detective and police keywords. Very useful for 30 points. Uh, George Stacy is his real name. Secretly, his his uh, his damage power. Uh, his special damage power is secretly figured out who you really are. Captain Stacy can use Outwit. Characters with the power countered by Captain Stacy can't use Outwit to flex probability control. Pretty useful in terms of controlling support pieces on the other side, also controlling uh, main attackers with their own inherent prop, which is fairly common. So I think he is pretty good for the points. Feels a little bit primey, especially since he is only 30 points. Um, he has four clicks, which is more than the one point per ten click uh, semi rule that happens. It's not really a rule; it gets broken all the time. And his values are half decent. He's got—I mean, he's got ten attack at thirty points, ten sack, seventeen defense. His I mean, yeah, his range is a bit short, but yeah, he reminds me of the Professor Prime. But that guy was just a yeah, different he was, brand of crazy. He was insane. He's totally different. Yeah, what'd you get? I ended up picking out the Vulture, who's a rare. Uh, he has one trait, which is King Crook of the Skies. Opposing characters with uh, boot modify their attack values by negative one when attacking the Vulture with a plus attack. Which is interesting, because uh, he starts off with a 17 energy shield. Uh, 50 points, flyer, pretty good movement with charge blades, and then energy shield to help him out defensively. Nice well, he's on his way there. Mm -hmm. Only 50 points, I think he's quite I good. I think he won. Sanders is going to get scientist. Yeah, I think... That's a win. 
Yeah. Pretty clear. Very right? similar to the uh, old Vulture in some ways. Very cool like though. It. it looks really cool. Yeah. Look forward to pulling it. I think I want a nice sketch. So you got a SR sketch very good. Not really much in terms of no. high level stuff on my yeah. end. Just two that I pulled out of the backs here. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going. Lose. Lose. Three, two, one. Yeah. Ha ha! I got Frogman. Oh man. So good. Oh my god. I don't know what I got here. Ooh. I, I got. I, I got the sketch training for Stiltman. I got Morlin though. Oh yeah, you did. But sketch training for Stiltman is pretty awesome. And I got another regular Stiltman. Are his stilts? I yeah, can't tell, I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing though, because it's it's inconsistent with the rest of the ones that you're going to be using. So I use this one though. Probably. He's one of the few that it would be fun to use him with. But I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna choose Frogman just because it's awesome. I also got Death Adder, uh, Norman Osborn, and Kate Killer again. It'll be good if we can, be good if we can keep track of all the Stiltmans we get. So that's uh, three so far? Mm-hmm. Or is it... I only... I didn't pull another one. I pulled one. Like, yeah, there's your one. Oh, you I also pulled one in this box. Oh, right, right, right. So we're up to three in our case so far with little boosters left to go. Uh, I also got... Let's just keep track of oh, Stiltman right there. Yeah, I got Overdrive, which Tom... Oh, Tom is you know, so jealous. Regular version, uh, probably the best piece in the set. Um, not actually, but he's close. Uh, Kingpin and Rattler. And Morlin is quite... Is it Morlin or Morloon? I don't know. I don't know. There's Frogman. So cheesy. I love it. He is a neat little character. Ah, I like his ability. I'll get into it before you go crazy with your Morlone stuff. Uh, yeah, so it's Frogman, Spider-Man Family, so that's the keyword. Uh, he is 35 points, so super, super cheap, affordable. Uh, his values are not fantastic, but they they're are what they should be. Uh, he starts with uh, Leap and Toughness on his top dial. Uh, his trait is Sorry bounced into you again, Sorry. Uh, Frogman isn't dealt knockback damage. Give Frogman a free action to knock himself back four squares in a horizontal or vertical direction. After, after actions resolve, if this knockback was stopped by a character, Frogman knocks that character back two squares. Pretty good. Uh, and then his second trait is, uh, I meant to do that, don't look so astonished. When Frogman knocks back an opposing character and that character is KO'd by knockback damage, after actions resolve, give an action token to all opposing characters in four squares of the, the square the KO character last occupied. So, pretty good overall. 35 points, he's, he's really solid. And, and just wacky and weird. Yeah, okay. Moral is quite a little uh, package to go through. I guess, we're, I guess we can build the still man after for I five. think we should. I, you know, I can you start can do that now because I've been talking for a while. Go for it. Moreland, I think he's one, of the, he's one of the higher point characters in the set mm -hmm. at 200. Uh, with an, a 10 click long dial. Uh, he is a vampire, so he has that wild dial mechanic. Uh, keywords are animal, brute, cosmic monster, mystical, all of which are useful. Uh, especially animal, because he has that whole eh, totem thing. Uh, he also comes with the slash marker, which I will get into presently. Uh, he has two traits and a special power and a fold out card with a nice little depiction of him and his little Spider-Man that he's knocking the you-know-what out of. Very cool. Uh, yeah. Trait number one, draining your life. Moreland begins the game on click number four. Uh, when an opposing character takes damage from, uh, from a close attack from Moreland, attach the slash marker to that character, removing it from anywhere else. When a character with the slash marker is given an action token, deal, uh, deal it one penetrating damage. When that character heals or clears action tokens, remove the slash marker. So he hits you, you start bleeding out, you get the slash marker. I think I just figured out the problem with the sketch variant version of Stilt Man. What? The paint is making it very difficult for uh, these actually it's too together. thick? Yeah. Uh, but, you know what, I'll work away at it while you talk. Go ahead. Uh, second trait, uh, to feed and mine. Morlin can use steel energy. When he does, if the opposing character that took damage has the animal or Spider-Man bailing keyword, heal him two clicks instead. When an opposing character takes damage from a slash marker, heal in one click. When he heals in any of these ways, he may heal past the starting line. 
So he's going to be quite the piece for sealed, especially because if he can, he starts on click four. He needs to heal up. He's, three a, he's a sealed monster to be the top dial. Yeah. Uh, so if he hits a Spider-Man family character, he will be able to heal basically in one turn. He's no good in constructed, but he is very much a, yeah. a sealed monster. He has many many powers. Long overdue. His top dial that he gets to after healing a bunch is eleven with hypersonic speed, thirteen precision strike, nineteen invincible, and six damage. Jeez. Uh, with uh, no range and willpower, or from in dawn. And he's a super rare, and quite something to look at, a scary thing to see your opponent with, and yeah. Highly usable, and the winner of this round. Should have hoped so. Right, I'm gonna leave this be for a minute, because these are really annoying. Ah, uh, so annoying. Give, so give me another base for him. Uh, there somewhere? Yeah, because we'll build it on that, because the. Sketch variant is proving to be incredibly difficult right now. It's, that's all right. Do it later. Um, three, two, one. No champion pieces yet, surprisingly. No champ pieces. Yeah, I'm not here either. I spoke too soon. Ooh. It's like God, Amethysto. Nice. That's one I'm after. That's for sure. Which, well, we're both that's, a, all that's a Paris. Paris Gordon. Let's piece see there. Paris's. It's not players. really recognizable, unfortunately. It's, yeah, I figured that. It's, would it's be black the case. and white. It's yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, if you that's good. If you had a magnifying glass, it actually does look like him. Right. Like we both know that it's him, but if you didn't. But the know, crystal is so mangy. If you didn't know what you were looking for. Yeah, you that's true. To that's true. Yeah. And oh, he also has a double. And there's no writing on the scroll. They used to put details like writing on scrolls and stuff. It's it's a cute a little, little thing. Only one with thousands. The whole selling your soul for power kind of thing. Uh, I also got an overdrive. Another overdrive. Another nice. overdrive. Well, I got uh, an NYPD officer, Jane Jonah Jameson, Jameson, Mary Jane, uh, Spider Man, and Electro, and that's the one that I'm going to pull out. Sketch Marine Dagger there, uh, Green Goblin, and Black Mambo. Not a bad pack, actually. Yeah, that Electro's not bad. Wow. Looks pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, so, Electro, Sinister Syndicate, Max Dillon, he does have the team ability, uh, the Sinister Syndicate team ability. Uh, he has a special attack power, no traits, special attack power, uh, which is light you all up. When Electro makes a ranged attack, he can use Precision Strike. If he targets at least two characters, he can also use Energy Explosion. Targets three characters, the damage dealt is penetrating damage. Not bad. 70 points, decent values. He's only five long though, so he's a little bit on the shorter side, but he does have energy shield deflection on all of his clicks. Obviously meant to stay at range, which makes perfect sense. He would be a ranged attacker. Although he's, his range is only six range. Mm -hmm. He does have three targets. It's more well, yeah, as he needs for his power, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Penetrating uh, triple splash is pretty good. Yeah, well, even. Uh, precision, precision strike. Otherwise, precision penetrating. Yeah, he's and yeah, energy explosion. Uh, oh, penetrating, energy, 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 energy explosion. Well, and precision strike also combos on top of that. Yeah, yeah. It's quite something. I like. Yeah, it. not bad at all. Uh, Mephisto has many, many detailed things. He has two different uh, start uh, lines: a forty-five and a hundred and thirty. Uh, we have the deity, the mystical, and ruler two words, and the mystics team ability. Uh, and his reference, uh, Conk reference seems to be one more day, which is appropriate. Um, his first trait is worthy of my full power. If Mephisto is 45 points, he is KO'd when he crosses the red KO line. If he's 130 points, he has the power cosmic team ability, is not KO'd when he crosses the red KO line, and can't be healed above the red KO line. I love that figure. Uh, and his other trait is Lord of the Underworld. When a character would miss and doesn't have a contract token on his card, that player's a character's player may place one on that character's card, and that character can be totally under control to target that attack roll. Characters with a contract token on their card modify their defense by, ne by negative one, and when they, they are KO'd, fist don't be heal one click. So he's, he's coming for your soul. It's a deal with the devil. Oh, he's coming. It's a bargain. And he's coming for you. Definitely. Uh, I, I forgot to mention he has uh, 8 range and improved targeting and ignores inner terrain. Well, combo one with uh, Brainiac and you might have something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, movement special power which he has on his first two clicks and his first two clicks are the entirety. 
of the 45 point line. Uh, special move and power, unseen manipulators. Um, Fisto can use sidestep and stealth. Give Mephisto a power action. Choose an opposing Stilt's mad. <laughs> choose an opposing character within range and line of fire and place that character into a square adjacent to their current square. If no opposing character is within four squares, this is a free action instead. It doesn't say within four squares of himself or the opposing character. Yeah, it doesn't really indicate. I'm sure the little rat out of that though. That's that's like pretty clear. Yeah. Um thing they need to clear up. And then he has a special defense power, which is a stop click under the new rules, which is uncountable and ignorable. Although, yep. he may although they have, did indicate it in some cases. He says he says this can't be ignored, which is weird. And he also has power cosmic, so it's double, double, double can't be countered or ignored. Okay. Uh, stop click. Mephisto can use invincible. This power. This can't be countered or ignored. So, oh. and he has quite. Oh. <laughs> yes. Or you really tall still then with only three of them. Oh, so he's not quite colossal. That's there. amazing. Wait, it's that's colossal. Is it? It's, oh, it's four total. So one tells he's up to six. So that would cost how many points for that? Cost? It's five per set. So but the first one's free. First one's free. So that's it's eighty-five so points. So he's got fifty points. So that's sixty, seventy. Oh no, sorry, sixty, seventy. It's seventy points. Because huh. the first one's free, right? That's six. So seventy-five. Five points for that guy. He's quite intimidating. Looking. Yeah, because uh, let's compare him to any other. It's one yeah, click at a time, player. right? I mean, you know, we're cutting down. We're cutting into the the actual battle portion of this. But if anybody doesn't know, I mean, when he's added to your force, one leg extension, and you may increase his point value. Blah blah blah. Uh, whenever Stiltman would take damage from an attack, you may instead remove a leg extension and roll a d6. Can't be rerolled. Uh, a one to three deal him one unavoidable, but on a five and six, he takes no damage. Uh, and it's only one damage anyway. He's quite sturdy. Yeah, he's got four clicks, so he'd at least need to be hit that many times. Fair minimum. Anyway, fantastic, fantastic. Peace. Okay. Uh, Mephisto. Yeah, Mephisto's awesome. He's... He only has damage for limited numbers of clicks, but he does... Well, he has no damage when he has his manipulator power, but then he has running shot pulse wave. Then he goes into some regen with a 19 defense and shape change. A lot of healing, a lot of mystics, a pretty annoying character, then becomes a really great attacker. Fart noises. Fart noises, he died. So what are the standings now? Because I have one, two, right three, now. four. You have four? Oh, and so I have yeah. one, two, three, four, four. I think that's... Is that tied? Is that, how is that possible? How is possible? One, two, three, four. Three, four, five. Well, they're matched up, so... I won here. Wait a minute. So you're Spartan, one, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. So there's nine winners total. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sorry, I'm you're at, you should be at five then, shouldn't you? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, yeah. We so, just miscounted there. So, so you this can, is the you can tie this, this up. Is the tie. Let's, let's or try. Or I win. All right. One, two, three. We have another prime, which is... Well, hmm. What do you got? I got the sketch brain of overdrive. Oh. So that might do it. I don't know. It is It is pretty cool. There's so much on the line. I know. So actually, I got the regular version of Anti Venom. So I would actually like to compare him to your sketch variant Anti Venom. I didn't get an Anti Venom, I got a Venom. Sure, you got us. Right, but he's a sketch variant, so he looks white. Oh, yes. Oh, you want to see the sculpts, yeah. right? Uh, they do actually look different. Oh yeah, they yeah, look they, extremely they would. similar. It's kind of dusty. Anti Venom has a normal Ruby color salt. tongue. Um, they look very similar. Mm hmm. Actually, huh? The symbols on the their uh, symbols are different. Like this, yeah, they're literally different. I know they they are in the artwork as well. Didn't notice. Yeah. So I don't even know if Anti Venom's going to. So this different. would only win based on the fact that Tom loves it. Tom was in our last uh, unboxing video as well. He's done, I think he's done two with me at this point. What else? I got Cave Killer, Bay Brand, Silk, and Carnage. Uh, I, I got uh, Tiger Shark, Dagger, Green Goblin, and Betty Brunt. Yeah. I think I'm actually going to go for Carnage because he's appropriate, because this is quite the uh, champ piece set, and he has a companion who is a champ piece with streaks. I'm actually going to choose him. That's fair. That's fair. I went with Overdrive. I mean, I just. 
declared Y. He is the taxi of choice. Well, he actually well, he's not. He creates the taxi of choice. Um, he's better than Vanisher, in, in my opinion, when you, when you do pop out uh, the charged up vehicle. So, superior to the other guys, once per turn for all characters with this trait, the character uses the Sinister Syndicate team ability to replace their attack value with overdrives. That character can use sidestep this turn. His attack value, <clears throat> excuse me, top time. I know I'm just looking at it instead of, and it's nine. So it's not fantastic, but it really is meant to be used uh, to get a uh, to get a uh, an escape ability, and you can use more than use that kind of trait more than once anyway. So you use his to gain the sidestep, then you use another guy's to gain probability control, and etc. You'll just keep stacking those abilities. It doesn't say that. once per turn or something. You're right, actually, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it's once per turn, so that doesn't work. Anyway, you can get sidestep if you need it for that turn, and on that turn you may not be uh, you might be retreating, which would make it useful. Uh, the other trait is the world is my getaway vehicle. Give overdrive a free action when he is adjacent to a standard object. Remove that object from the game and replace it with a charged up bystander in that square if none are on the map. So, that charged up uh, bystander uh, is a vehicle and it has the ability to carry four passengers. Uh, it has 11 movement with sidestep, uh, 18 defense with <coughs> excuse me, toughness. And uh, it has a trait, which is like my ride, hop in. This vehicle can only be piloted by a char character named Overdrive. So, gets in and gets going. Uh, and that's my pick for this round. Uh, we've Carter just previewed very early. He's a good close combat character. Uh, he has a typical uh, symbiote trait. Uh, he has a lot of healing and some good stuff when he uh, has most characters, proof of elevated. He's a really good uh, charge uh, blades character. Mm -hmm. I like him. He's but good. I do think that Overdrive does win because he is a better piece. And that means we tied. We tied. All right. Good game. Good game. Absolutely. This has been your unboxing at 401 Games for the Superior Spider Man or Superior Foes of Spider Man set. Uh, come on down. All of these pieces will be available uh, for purchase uh, tomorrow, which is uh, or. Today or tomorrow, which is either Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday is the actual release date for this set. Thanks for watching, and you can watch Jay and I on Mondays at 9.30 p.m. on Married with Clicks. Uh, Married with Clicks is the Metal App, which is youtube.com slash Married with Clicks. See you then.